Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. This is Talk To Me Tuesday. Ow. <laughs> Number 164. I feel like I got stabbed by a pen. Sorry about that. Um, real quick before I get into the little bit of crafty I have to share with you, an update on our newest member, Miss Nameria. She's doing quite well. She has gained enough weight now that you no longer see her backbone and her hip bones protruding through her skin, which is good. She no longer gobbles her food down like she used to. She now actually sits down and eats it. So she's not the starving little kitty she was when she first came to us. And she has become a very rambunctious little kitty. We purchased a, you know, cheap little dollar toy at Rite Aid. Of course, my daughter will correct me and say we only paid 90 cents for it. But it's just a little thing hanging off a string on a stick. And she absolutely loves it. She absolutely loves it. She gets going. She gets crazy playing with it. It's fantastic to see. Uh, and yesterday evening, she was racing from one end of the house to the other. So very rambunctious, very full of energy, which is a major improvement from when she first came into the house. And she was doing a lot of sleeping. So it's good to see. Um, and she has a bit of a bully side to her, as sweet as she is. She has made it perfectly clear to the other kitties that she is the kitty of the house. And it's really funny to see, you know, as small as she is compared to them, she is not afraid to stand up and let them know that this is her house. <laughs> so, uh, and we will have to work on that, you know, but that's okay. And thank you very much to Terry Tegzi, the yarn fosterer, for his generous donation. We will soon be able to take her to the vet to have her spayed, have her checked out, get her unfortunately they don't include the first shots that they used to include so the only thing we're waiting on now is to get up enough money for any of the shots we want her to have done any other tests we want her to have done and we're looking at probably just after the first of the year getting that taken care of so very very big thank you terry for your generosity your let me tell you this man is he's a sweetheart so <laughs> All right, um, now, enough said, let's get on with the crafty. First off, you're going to be seeing a lot of socks because once I am done with the advent calendar, it will be nothing but concentrating on getting socks done for Christmas. I showed you my daughter's pair last week. Well, here's the next pair. I got one completed sock done, and I am halfway through the leg of the next completed sock. And I like this because this striped up really well. It's a very pretty sock. And the yarn is so soft. So that pair should be completed by tomorrow. And then I will start on the next pair of socks. And like I said, it's just going to be socks, 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 socks. My corner to corner didn't get any love this past week because between Thanksgiving and other stuff that I was working on, I just didn't have the time. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's okay because it's for me. It can be put on hold for now. The next thing I'm going to share, I showed you, I think it was way back when Miss Erin, Give Me Yarn 418, did the 10,000 meter yarn challenge. I started working on an entrelac scarf. Well, I picked it up a couple weeks ago. And I looked at it and I said, you know, with everything else I have to do, this poor thing is going to be sitting here for another year, not getting finished. So what I decided to do was end off the entrelac. I picked up some stitches. I did some rows of garter stitching and I made a cowl. So as opposed to doing all the length I would have to do for a scarf, I decided to just make a cowl out of it. I absolutely love this. I have been using this. It works quite well. As you can see, my hair is usually up, especially when I'm going to work. So I put it on, and I love it because it hangs just right. It gives me that nice, you know, protection on the back of my neck. And then if necessary, and I need a little more protection on the front because of the way it's done, it actually folds right up over my neck and gives me even more protection there. So... Love it. I have been using it every time I go out when it's necessary, and I think it's fantastic. So, there. 
Instead of a scarf, it has become a cowl. <laughs> Works for me. The, <coughs> excuse me. The next and last thing I'm going to share with you today, I was hoping was going to be 100% complete. My daughter and I, some time ago, started... Okay, as I was saying before the batteries in my camera died, my daughter and I started some time ago an advent wall hanging that we were going to do. Um, she did all the little ornaments that are going to go on it to mark down the days. And I just did the other piece, which really wasn't a whole heck of a lot. It was just slapping together fabric to make it look like a tree. Unfortunately, I found out this morning after measuring it that I was not going to have enough of the material for the binding. So I have to now do something different, which I'm hoping I have enough red in my stash to add to the binding I already have to complete it so I can do the binding on it. And then it's just a matter of finishing stitching on the little hooks for the ornaments to hang on. So these are the ornaments. We'll show you those first. This one and others like it will go around the outside edging for the countdown. Then we have some of these little ornaments that have snowflakes on them that will actually hang on the tree itself. And the very last one that will be put on on Christmas will be this little star one with a star bead on it. And my daughter did all these. There's 25 of them total. It's going to look really neat when it's done with them hanging around on this. But I'll show you what I've completed so far. Uh, Here. Help. <laughs> I'm stuck to something. You're stuck to a hook. I'm stuck to a hook. Yeah. <laughs> I have been hooked, everybody. So. This is it. I know you're probably not going to see the whole thing. The pins you see. You're, I you keep getting hooked. <laughs> Welcome to my life. The pins mark where the little ornaments will hang. Do we want to hang one on there to show? Yeah, why not? We can hang one right here. If I can get it on. If she can get the hook on. There we go. There we go. And they'll hang on there just like that. If you can see it. So really neat. I know they can see it. So really neat, really cool idea we have. And uh, hopefully next week... You will see it completed. I plan on coming home tomorrow, getting the binding at least cut and sewn together and ready to go, and then possibly the next day putting the binding on, and then we just have to sew on all the rest of the little hooks, which is 18 and all. Yes, dear? <laughs> oh, I've got thread all over me. and So, um, <laughs> other than that, yeah, I was hoping it would be finished, but it's not. But you will see it finished next week, one way or another. With ornaments on it. With some ornaments on it, actually. We'll hang it up someplace, and I'll do a little video clip of it. So, Which we have to figure out where we're going to hang it to begin with. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's it for me. You'll, like I said, you'll be seeing a lot of socks, because I will be concentrating most of my time on socks. Unless I get bored with socks and throw a little something other here, there, or wherever. But mostly socks. So, anyway, look forward to watching everyone's videos. I hope you all have a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. Come say hello. Hey. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> there. About as much as you're going to get. So, as for me, I'm out. We have a little bunny rabbit to get out so she can get her exercise. As for you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one. And I will see you all next week. Say bye. Bye. Okay, guys, I was going to try and take a picture of this, but I think a little video clip would actually be more appropriate. This is our new little fur baby, Nemeria. This is a chair I used to sit in um, that recently the one side broke on it. And so she's claimed it as her own. And is this comfort or what? Look at this. Look at this. Wouldn't you love to be able to be that comfortable when you're sleeping? Sound asleep, knocked out, 
under a blanket. <laughs> and look at her. She is just so comfy. And I'm telling you, the life of a cat. Don't we all wish we had such a good life? Not that all kitties have such a good life, but we try our hardest. But there is little Miss Nemeria, and she's just snoozing up a storm, all nice and comfy, covered up in a chair with nice comfy softness under her. So, yeah. That's the little fur baby. <laughs> Talk about spoiled. Okay, enough said. That's her. Such a sweetie. All right, bye.